Is it because Filipinos see something in him that a big part of the world doesn't? Filipinos see in him something that the big part of the world doesn't. Because, again, you guys haven't lived in our country. What are your hopes and fears for the next president of the Philippines? And I think these people are for the opposition. What's good, everybody? It's your boy David again, and I'm back with another video for today. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment down below. So in this video, we are going to react to Project Nightfall's video about Marcos. It was already deleted. Hindi ko siya napanood pa. Maraming nagbe-message sa akin to react to it right away. But I, I didn't have much time. So I cannot react to it right away. Buti na lang, merong nakapag-save at nag-re-upload sa YouTube. I'm going to watch it from YouTube right now. Maraming nag-bash dito kay Project Nightfall kasi medyo misinformation daw or medyo bias daw. We will see and will react to it. Okay? Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, realdavid29. Follow me on my Facebook page as well. David Lanyas. The whole world is looking at Filipinos right now as they're about to elect a late dictator's son to be the president of the Philippines. Yung palang sabi na the late dictator son, he's already misinformed. Para din siyang ibang Pinoy na hindi makamove on sa ganun. Well, I'm not invalidating any anybody's experience sa panahon na yun. But what I meant is, kung foreigner ka, huwag ka na masyadong sumali. <laughs> huwag ka na masyadong sumali. Dito nga, nagkaka-misinformation pa kami dito within the Philippines. no Sa mga uh, between Filipinos, may nag argue pa kami kung ano talaga nangyari dati. Tapos yung mga foreigners na ganito, makiki, makiki ki ano cloud no makiki cloud real talk lang tayo ayoko kasi nung mga foreigner na nakiki joy ng politics sa ibang bansa eh mag-focus kaya kayo sa mga politika niyo sa, sa bansa ninyo di ba in other countries this is what you'll see and from outsiders watching it unfold this is what you'll hear the son of a guy who terrorized the philippines for years this is already misinformation because you guys didn't know that our medias here in the philippines are biased real talk they are biased anything against or that will probably go against their media networks they will go against it as well i just don't understand why foreigners like him or you know just focus on your politics don't care about your politics okay we care about your country but if that's your politics that's your politics is now the front runners to take over bong bong marcos has shown virtually no remorse for what his father put the country through so why is it oh my goodness this is crazy this is really crazy that this man is leading a presidential race by a landslide yes over 30 million Filipinos voted for him, at least according to the partial and official tally. Is it? Of course, because we knew what really happened. You guys don't know what happened. Especially, you haven't lived in the Philippines for so long, or I don't care about if you live there or not. If you haven't lived there and experienced the life of Filipinos for more than 10 years, then you don't have the right, any right, to tell people misinformation about our whatever happens in in the philippines especially about politics it's because filipinos see something in him that's a big part of the world doesn't filipinos see in him something that the big part of the world doesn't because again you guys haven't lived in our country you just knew the surface of misinformed history okay misinformation about history about politics you guys just don't know the deeper politics that we had and we have here in the philippines Night Farm. This is a special video that will spotlight, not my opinion, but the voice of Filipinos for the Filipinos. And if you're watching this election, we will see who are these Filipinos is talking about. Unfold from a different part of the world. Stick around because you might get your answer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what they said when we asked What are your hopes and fears for the next president of the Philippines? And I think these people are for the opposition. Or these people are the same people who rallied in protest somewhere in, you know, Manila. You guys know what I'm talking about. 
One thing is definite, as it's often in the politics, there is a strong contrast in opinions. One side is already bracing for really dark times. It's a really dark time for the Philippines right now. I feel no, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's only dark times if you are for the opposition. Let's get that straight, okay? Fear that disappearance, torture, politically detained, death, and other unlawful acts. These are the people who protest against BBM outside the Comelec. For sure. Real talk, these are the people who cannot move on because we won by 17 million votes against our freedom and human rights might happen again. While the other is celebrating a bright future ahead. And of course, we are. We are. Personally, I am. As 30 plus millions of Filipino people voted for him, I don't think we have the reasons to be afraid of because yes, majority of us believed in him. True. True. Real talk. Majority wins. That's why it's a democratic country. That's the beauty of democracy. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Mabuhay! There's no reason to be fear because our new elected president is chosen by the majority. And I hope that new administration will help all of Filipinos in all of need and put some good plan in health, education, Mabuhay! economy and infrastructure. It's almost like they're living in different realities, holding different sets of facts. No, we're not living in a different reality. We just had different opinions, but our reality is just the same. How could I trust a leader who uses disinformation networks to promote himself? Fake news. And no, 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 no. This is this is crazy. Trolls. How could I support a leader who never liked attending debates? Because debates are not required by the Comelec. You can opt not to or to go or to have a debate. It's not a requirement. Never like being criticized. There are no... Never like being criticized. No! BBM has been criticized all his life after the allegations against his father and his family and what his father has done for the Philippines. He grew up being criticized. You interviewed people that are irrelevant. They're not relevant because they were not born yet during that time. Fierce as it is the beginning of new era, a new place for Filipino, to so arise from frustration and hope. And maybe that is why Marcus Jr.'s call for unity during his campaign has resonated with a lot of people who are simply Mabuhay! tired with the so-called toxic division. I fear that the relationships, friendships, that's been broken by the elections. Indeed, 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 this might be by far the most toxic election in the Philippines. We all have our differences, we all ha have our own principles and beliefs. But then the critics also ask, what is the point of unity under a family name that has stolen so much from the country? Then prove it. Project Nightfall because you're brave enough to make this video then you have to prove it My biggest fear for this election is to have a president that is stained with corruption and built by disinformation I am genuinely scared BBM is not built by disinformation To put back into position what the people back then ousted To which Marcus support Are they the same people back then? Use your brain Supporters usually counter with two things it this is pissing me off. Nakakapikontong video na to. It is time to forgive what his family did and that he cannot be judged through his father's sins. True, true. Night fam, I realize that it doesn't look good when me, a foreigner, comments on other countries' affairs. True. That's why you should have not done this, you know. We all know, because it's politics, there are many more complicated issues that this video has not even touched yet. True, true. It's rampant fake news, disinformation, some reports of election irregularities, to name a few. Election ir irregularities, the comic just released a statement earlier today that the manual audit and the automated counts are 100% accurate.
My goodness. You have been a victim of misinformation too, Project Nightfall. But if you ask me how I feel for the country that has become such a big part of my mission here mission for is what I know to be true. I know that Filipinos deserve so much from their government. True. True. I know that the poor and the underrepresented demand a public servant who truly cares about their needs in jobs, health and education. And I know that every voter only wants best for their nation. True. That's why we voted. We, 31 million people voted for BBM. And as I know all of this, I must tell you something that is very sad, disappointing, and difficult. I'm curious about this. I have been contacted by many people from the Philippines and I can see how many are so afraid to even voice their opinions. What? That is why we have blurred the faces of the people who speak in this video. Why? They're afraid because they're the same people who protest against the government. You just don't understand why these guys are afraid. Why do they have to protest if they're just 14 or 15 million people who voted for their candidate? And then we are 31 million. Because the hate is so strong. Because the division... They hate us so strong. You don't know the, the opposition uh, campaign is negative campaigning. You don't even see that. You don't even... I, I challenge you to watch videos about the opposition's campaign rallies. ...is so strong because the trolls are so strong. Some people are even worried for their lives. They are the trolls. Simply for expressing their opinions. I have said it before and I'll... I think you are, you have been a victim of disinformation. Do you know that BBM supporters are the ones who were afraid to voice out up until today? Why? Because anything they say or, you know, share in support for BBM or Mar the Marcoses, people will say, let me educate you, blah, blah, blah. You don't know that though. Say it again. The Philippines is a beautiful nation that deserves all the blessings of this world. That's why we deserve BBM as the president, as the next president. That is why only recently our Project Not For organization helped raise funds after the typhoon that hit the Filipinos. Over well, thank you for that. Over 20,000 affected people received help from it. Thank you for your generosity. In that moment, in these big numbers, we saw a beautiful unity. And we hope that this type of unity, that when the next elections happen, no one is scared for their lives in expressing their opinions. Everybody is scared to express their opinion because if you're for the opposition or not, it doesn't matter. People would just criticize you just because. About the future of their country. Nakakapikon talaga yung video because Huwag kayo iya Hindi man lang niya siguro Hindi man lang niya Hindi man lang niya pinag-isipan bago gawin yung video The disparity between 15, 14 million and 31 million votes It's just way too wide And then it should have been more sensitive more careful because alam naman niya na 31 million votes yung bumoto di ba 31 million people yung bumoto kay BBM tapos gagamit siya ng mga words like late dictators it's it's i don't know it's just for the clout to trigger people if these people are really really concerned about the philippines why why do you have to blur their faces why do you have to get them faces blurred these guys don't want to be criticized. Nakakapikon. Nawala yung ano ko ah. Parang na-drain ako emotionally and mentally. Again, if you're not from the Philippines, just don't say anything. Just keep your, your opinion to yourself. Especially, these election is very toxic. Was so toxic. So just don't stick up your nose in anything that you could possibly make content. But I don't, I don't hate you though. If you're watching this video, I don't hate you, Project Nightfall. I'm just telling you my reaction. That's that's my reaction with your video. That's it. That's it, guys. Marami na din ako sinabi <laughs> during the video kasi I can't tell myself. So, 
yeah hopefully these people will learn and uh, just respect whatever decision uh, has been made during this election okay, the results move on move on na kayo let's just move on and unite for a better Philippines and help the government as well and help ourselves so peace out everybody much love God bless take care stay safe bye